But at the end of the day, we all have to eat, right? So this this idea that the liberals have that we can just live in in, in utopia <laughs> and, and we don't know where our food is, so we'll import it from other jurisdictions. The quality might not be as good. Uh, who knows about the price? Of course, if we can't produce our own, they, right. they you know, they were at a severe disadvantage. But it's it's one thing after another, but they it's this mindset that we'll have a government program to fix that problem that we created, right? Like, yeah. we'll just import food, right. right? Like, people have just had enough. Yeah, and I think people are seeing it. Uh, you know, maybe the, the, the bright side of this is that Canadians are starting to finally question and, and, mm-hmm. and uh, want to understand where their food comes from because they're seeing food prices at the grocery store continue mm-hmm. to increase as a result of, of liberal-driven inflation. And you're exactly right, Jamie. What will happen is we will have to start importing more food from around the world, which has a much larger carbon footprint, uh, has not done to the same uh, environmental standards and quality standards that we have right here in Canada. Um, But the larger uh, threat of that is Canada is one of only five countries in the world that exports food to help feed the world. So we're not only talking about Canadian food security, we're talking about global food security. Um, if Canada is no longer able to uh, meet the global demand, uh, there will be uh, a food security question or crisis uh, around the world, especially with what's going on uh, in Ukraine, uh, in the Middle East. Uh, demand for Canadian products has never been higher. Uh, 